So in the 70s and 80s, when the Japanese manufacturers come to the market, they were met with, met with a lot of bias, people calling it things like Jap crap. And by the 90s, we, we knew how wrong that was. They were producing some of the nicest cars around. Hyundai in the 90s come in with some cheap and cheerful ones. Then they decided to jump in and go at the higher end market with their i30 to compete with the likes of Mazda, Toyota. And now we have CF Moto that's thrown their hat in the ring to compete with some of the bigger manufacturers with this beautiful cafe racer and also the MT800, which is going to be taken on the likes of your BMWs, KTMs and all your Japanese manufacturers. So let's have a look at it. Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm test riding the CF Moto 800 MT. So before we go any further, big shout out to Mick and the team at Western Sydney CF Moto. They're located at Unit 1, 26 Park Road, Mulgrave, which is just near Windsor. And for all things CF Moto, be it two wheels or four wheels, go and speak to Mick and the team. They were massive help, and if it wasn't for them, this video wouldn't have been possible. So what do you get? Well, let's start with the price, because the price is extremely impressive. On road, it is $14,490, and it comes with a two-year factory warranty plus a one-year additional warranty if serviced at a dealership. The motor is a KTM Source 790 motor, and the reason they can do this is because CF Moto actually have a partnership with KTM, and they produce their smaller engines. So it's not a cheap copy, it's actually working in conjunction with KTM, which is very important. So you've got a great motor. It also comes with multiple riding modes, slipper clutch, seven inch TFT screen, Bluetooth connectivity, handguards, and cruise control. It also has fully adjustable KYB suspension. At 14,490 is very impressive. Also standard on it, but you wouldn't get these extras from other manufacturers. Fog lights, quick shift up and down, crash bars, USB and 12 volt outlets, adjustable screen, tire pressure monitoring, heated grips and seats. Center stand, steering damper, and an alloy bash plate, all for 14490 Now, with other manufacturers, you've got the purchase price, then you're adding on all the extras. This, it already comes with it. It also has a 19 litre fuel tank, so you're going to get some good mileage. It only comes in the one colour, which is blue, but the blue looks fantastic. So, what did I like? Well, it had plenty of power. The excel as you'd expect, being a KTM source motor, there was plenty of acceleration, and I was very impressed with the way it was. Forward. The options are fantastic and no one's going to compete with the CF Moto for sheer value on that alone. Also the centre stand, I found it easy to put it on and off the centre stand. Now as we all know, if you're out bush and you need to do some sort of repair, a centre stand is invaluable and so much more useful than a side stand alone. found it very comfy and I was in the usual position for an adventure tour. It's a nice and upright position and for taller riders these bikes are fantastic. I can confirm that the distance to empty was accurate as I pushed it to its limit and snuck into the server station on fumes. The tyre pressure monitoring system works. It let me know that the tyre pressure was low. I put it back to 32 psi because I was riding it on the road and the only time I went off road was to actually adjust something. So what didn't I like? Well, the screen, it didn't exactly protect me from the wind, but don't forget I'm quite tall. The screen is fully adjustable and I did try adjusting fully and the adjustment was strict, was very easy. It's not a motor, it's just two screws and you can do it while you're riding, it wasn't that hard. Now it had some snatchiness around the 3000 RPM mark. I let Mick know about this and he said it's just a simple uh, remapping that CF Moto is already aware of and they can do that when you're at the dealership. I'm not going to explain it here, but when you're at the CF Moto dealership, ask them how they do the remapping. It's amazing, the technology, but also we know Skynet is here. Now, the final thing I didn't like was the fact that the bike had no traction control and it's an adventure bike. If you've never had traction control, it's not an issue. And I know in the comments people are going, just use your throttle or drop it in rain mode and just gentle with the throttle and i've got no issue with that that's fine at this price point you can get away with it but to see if motors defense the bikes that have this type of traction control are good eight thousand dollars plus more and 
does eight thousand dollars really justify that sort of traction control i'll leave that up to you to decide so would i get one absolutely i think it's great value it's a sort of bike if you're looking for a bike that does everything you could go on you could go touring with it uh, long distance trips even simple run up to the shops on it this bike would tick all those boxes if you're trying to reduce your fleet size you know go from three bikes to one bike this bike would be ideal you could use it for just about everything for me i'm actually strongly considering buying one just on sheer value alone you can pretty much buy it and it's good to go the only thing i would add to it is a top box now there is a limited edition one that comes in a different color it's a sandstone it has panniers and a top box and at six i think it's around the sixteen and a half thousand dollar mark looks like some excellent value for me though i prefer the blue color on the touring model and i would just get the top box and I've, i'd use some soft panniers that's just a personal preference from me anyway go check it out this bike will appeal to people trying to get that are looking to get into the adventure touring the suspension and the motor alone should give you plenty of confidence that this bike is more than capable and also presents probably the best value on the market in the ADV scene. Now, I know some of you are going to come at me and say, oh, you could just get a KLR650 or a DR650, and they've, they've got a proven track history, and they do, but by the time you spent the money getting the suspension as good or the accessories, you've gone well past the price of $14,490 for this CF Moto. And this one's got warranty. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like, share, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. It helps out my channel massively. And don't forget, if you're after anything CF Moto and you're in the Sydney area, go and see Mick and the team out at Western Sydney CF Moto. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.